The purpose of this video presentation is to teach you how shipping costs are determined and the effect it has on how you package our products. There are several things to take into consideration when determining the proper way to pack and ship an order. Let's begin by determining billable weight provided by our three different carriers, UPS, FedEx, and Postal. Starting in 2015, FedEx and UPS announced that they would be considering dimensional weight for all size packages as well as the actual weight. So what's the difference between the two? Actual weight is just that. Take a package, put it on the scale, and you have your actual weight. Dimensional weight, however, is calculated a little differently. For domestic shipments or shipments within the United States, you would multiply the package dimensions of length times width times height and divide that by 166 to get your dimensional weight. If that weight turns out to be a fraction, round it off to the higher whole number. For example, if the dimensional weight comes in at 2.6 pounds, the rounded dimensional weight would end up being 3 pounds. For determining dimensional weight for international shipments, you would use the same calculations of length times width times height of the package, but instead of dividing it by 166, you would divide it by 139 in order to get your international dimensional weight. UPS and FedEx will consider the actual weight as well as the dimensional weight and will then determine the higher of the two. This will be your billable weight or in other words the weight for which you will be charged to ship. So what does this tell us? Simply that it is vital to keep in mind when packing our products into boxes that we pack them in the smallest box possible to cut down on dimensional weight. The larger the box, the higher the dimensional weight, the more expensive the shipping will be. Knowing this, there is something else to consider. Since UPS and FedEx have changed over to put more consideration on dimensional weight, you as a packer and a shipper need to evaluate if going postal is a better option. At this time, postal does not consider dimensional weight and solely goes off of actual weight or flat rate. We have put together this chart showing you how these shipping costs play out between the three carriers. In this instance, we are shipping from Largo, Florida to New Salisbury, Indiana, standard ground. As you can see, for packages that weigh under three pounds in either actual or dimensional, postal is the best way to go. It isn't until about the three or four pound mark that UPS and FedEx start getting competitive and Postal quickly shoots up in cost the heavier the package gets. As for UPS and FedEx, they pretty much flatline or have little incline until about the 14 pound mark. After that, shipping costs begin to increase. Please keep in mind these rates you are seeing here are in accordance with the current rate agreements we have with FedEx and UPS. Another important aspect of shipping costs is residential versus commercial. As you can see here, shipping commercial is dramatically cheaper than residential for both UPS and FedEx carriers. Unfortunately, you have no control over the customer's location, but this knowledge is good to have when a customer service representative is taking a phone call and the customer is debating whether to ship it to their residence or business. Now that you've seen the different calculations used to determine billable weight, as well as the cost breakdowns between our three carriers, it is your job to evaluate every package that goes out the door. Always ask yourself, what is the best way to package this item in order to get it to the ultimate lowest on shipping costs? No matter what, always package our product or products in the smallest box possible without risking damage to its contents. Once you have calculated your billable weight, then determine the best carrier for the shipment. I hope this presentation was useful in bringing to your attention how shipping works. It is important that every role in this company has a basic understanding and is conscious on how to properly pack and ship every product that goes out our door.